A very warm welcome to Tech Mining. In this video you will learn about sending emails from your Oracle Apex application. You can enable users to send emails from your application by using send email process and email templates with declarative substitutions. You can implement this process declaratively without writing a single line of code. In this video we are going to send an order confirmation email to customers whose email address exists in the demo underscore customers table. The email will contain a link that customers can use to access their placed orders. First, you need to create an email template using a predefined order details template. The sample template contains information including your application name, customer name, and order information that will be sent to customers. You have to tweak some properties of this template. The anchor tag modified in the body section takes customers to page 30 of the application, where they can view their orders. The link specified in the footer section lands them on the home page of the application. In the body section of this template, you will see some strings enclosed in hash symbols. These strings will be replaced with actual values in emails. When customers click the link in their emails, they are routed to page 30. After providing their credentials on the sign-in page, they will see details of their orders. I created page 30 to display order details when a customer clicks the link in the email. In page 30 set some security attributes to avoid checksum errors. First, set page mode to normal. In security section, set page access protection attribute to unrestricted. This value is usually set for a page that is requested using a URL, with or without session state arguments, and having no checksum. Click P30 underscore order underscore ID page item and set session state protection under security to unrestricted. By setting this value the item's value can be set by passing the item in a URL or in a form and no checksum is required in the URL. In the order summary page, 9 hidden items are created to fetch order information. The SQL queries used in these hidden items are provided in the video description. Set action property of the back button to submit page.
Create a process to send emails. The send email process type is used to send an email, and optionally one or more attachments, from the application. In the from property you enter the email address to display as the sender of the email. This email address must be a valid address. Otherwise, the message will not be sent. Here, we used substitution syntax and app underscore email, which returns the application email defined at the application level. In our case this will be no reply at oracle.com. The value for the two property is derived from the customer email hidden page item. The send email template was created earlier in this video. This process will execute when the back button provided on page 14 is pressed. Assign items and values to placeholder values property. These values, which are held in the hidden items, will replace the string name in the email template. Create a branch under the after processing node to move back to page 4 after placing orders. Modify a customer record using Manage Customer module, and add your email address for testing purpose. All is set. Create a new order for this customer. When you click the Back to Orders button on the final wizard screen, you will see the confirmation message. Log out from the application. After a while, you will receive an order confirmation email in your email account. Click the Manage Your Order link that will take you to the application login page. Immediately after providing your credentials, the Order Details page, page 30, will appear on your screen displaying the order you just entered. The link labeled Visit My Application and Manage Your Email Preferences will take you to the home page after successful login. That's it. Hope this video was informative. If you liked it, then please give it a thumb up and also subscribe to Tech Mining to get more informative videos like this. Thank you for watching.